When the Prime Minister announced that we'll form the CFE, he said, and I quote, with an aging population and uncertain global conditions, growth will be harder to come by. Yet, our economy must grow to create opportunities for Singaporeans and to improve our lives. And indeed, this is what guides us in the CFE work, to create opportunities for Singaporeans and to improve our lives. We live in a world undergoing major and rapid structural changes. Shifts in global trade and production patterns are opening up new markets, even as parts of the world appear to be moving towards greater protectionism. Advances in technology, in particular digital technology, give us new ways to improve productivity, efficiency, and service delivery. These trends may throw up potential disruptions, but they also bring many new opportunities. To seize these opportunities, our businesses and our people need to build deep capabilities. Only with deep capabilities can we thrive in an unpredictable and fast-changing world. Our businesses need to digitalize, innovate, and internationalize to create value and bring it to the world. Our people need to continuously learn and relearn skills to be entrepreneurial and flexible in adapting to varying circumstances. All these are brought together in the CFC's recommendations. Of the CFE's seven key strategies, the first five are about building the very capabilities I have described to internationalize, to develop and use deep skills, to innovate and scale up, to digital, digitalize, and to make the most of our city. And these five are brought together by two other strategies through the industry transformation maps, ITMs, and through effective partnerships. These seven strategies are mutually reinforcing. And it's not about different people pulling in different directions. Instead, we need a sense of partnership and collaboration to work together, as in all areas, for economic development and in all areas. So that taken together, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Now, the way in which the CFE strategies can be brought to life is through two critical elements. First, we need a spirit of enterprise, a willingness to try new things, to seek creative solutions to problems, to venture where few others have gone. An attitude of continually striving, of persevering, of drawing out the best ideas from every individual. Second, effective partnerships with one another between the government, the community, businesses, and individuals. <coughs> Together, we'll refine our ideas and put them into action. By working together and making the most of everyone's abilities, we can achieve more than we will on our own. To those who are looking for a new blueprint and a plan to follow, let me say that what we need is not a change in strategy, but a strategy for change. A strategy for change. We must recognize that we are in a different world. The world is changing, but we do not know for certain the pace and direction of change. Many members, such as Ms. Jessica Tan and Mr. Muhammad Faisal, have also noted this uncertainty. What we need is not a cast in stone roadmap, but a spirit to constantly forge forward and to find a new way forward. This strategy for change requires a significant shift in mindset. The CFE strategies are part of a broader movement to develop a pervasive culture of innovation, nimbleness, and adaptability. This will not take place overnight, and Budget 2017 is but a step in that direction and builds on what CFE has put forward. This is a budget to position us for the future. And this is about doing, learning, and adapting. Doing, learning, and adapting. We cannot afford to wait and see. Those who wait will only miss out. As Ms. Chia Yong has shared, it is time for us to take our own future into our hands. 
Structurally, we have always faced constraints as a small nation state. But our strength, our enduring strength, has been to break through all of these constraints. We have proven to the world that we can do it this time, and time and time again. 